Yo, this is your boy JSF, and um, now that uh, I haven't really been trying to play this game competitively, I've kind of been looking at other things, like not just picking Frost and saying how to fix her, but kind of looking at other characters, <clears throat> and I know what you're thinking at first, Rufomonger just put out a video today about Scorpion and his teleport being stupid and all that kind of stuff, and I'm not trying to ride the wave of that video or steal his idea. I actually had this video planned for a while, but Combat League came out. Oh, excuse me. I was trying to grind that for a while. Um, after that, I made a whole separate account where I only play Frost. Then I said I'm quitting the game. I got really frustrated. So I've just been back and forth with the game and with life. So I haven't had time to make this video. But it was a video I always planned to make before the patch because they're going to patch this game right after EVO. 100% they're patching this after Evo. So, um, hopefully I have some good points here and maybe somebody watches this and thinks, huh, let's implement that. Because some of the ideas I have are w the same as what other people have, like some very general fixes. And the other ideas I have, I haven't really seen other people mention at all. I'm not saying I came up with them and nobody else did. I'm just saying I haven't seen them. So, without further ado, Here's a couple of ways that I will fix Scorpion's teleport. So, first off, I want to start with uh, his teleport cancel. Since that's kind of the one that's more annoying of the two. Whoops, this one. His teleport cancel. And let me put infinite meter on so I don't get input errors. Yeah, so it's teleport cancel. So the first way I would change this is I would make it recover. Oh, I can't put infinite meter on to show this. I'm silly. I would, um, so I would make it rec I would make it take longer for the meter to rebuild. I don't know why I said that in such a weird way. So, if you notice, if I throw you, plus back throw. I like the forward throw example better. By the time this throw animation is done, by the time you're up and able to move, I've got half of it back already. Maybe more. I've already got that bar back that fast. Now, if I back throw you, it's a little, you know, a little slower, but I have all this distance, and by the time you hit me with anything, I probably have half the meter back. So it's like, why not spend it? You're gonna get it right back. It comes back so fast. It comes back like offensively, like maybe even faster. No, probably it's about the same. Yeah, comes back like offensive meter. So that I think should be changed, and I think that's something we can probably all agree upon. That if he does this move, it should recover. It should recover like uh let's see if I still have a playback in here. No. Dang. Alright, we'll set him we'll set him to uh we'll set him to attack us. There we go. Now look how long it takes. I'm gonna throw him again. Look how long it takes for my meter to come back. It's like half as fast, if not worse. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I think half as fast. If he teleport cancels, I think that's how his meter should come back that slow. So it's not something he can just do because the way the game is right now, like, I understand that this move used to take, um, it used to take two bars and it was pretty much useless. And because if it takes both your defensive meters, like, why would you ever do that? But it should at least come back as slow as a breakaway because where it is now like I've, I've literally fought multiple scorpion players who do this at the start of the match maybe they forward three maybe they don't they just teleport cancel teleport cancel and i press a button next thing you know i'm in a full combo by the time the combo's done i've got half my meter back by the time i can move they have almost a full bar back it's insane like it just doesn't make any sense like teleport and the teleport and the teleport is a real thing because of this. And I don't think any fighting game on the planet should exist where you can teleport three times in a row. That's like a viable strategy. Or it's even like a gimmick that works. Like that should never work in any game. You should never be able to just, oh, I'm a teleport. Oh, I'm a teleport. Oh, I'm a teleport. And like you can make the guess that they're going to, you know, the next one they're going to attack you with. Or the third one because they don't have meter anymore. They're going to attack you with. But what if they just throw you there? Like, uh, that is just the one change I think universally we can all get behind, even Scorpion players. I don't see how they would complain about that. It should just take longer. Like, say this move gets no other nerfs, it should at least, the defensive bar should come back slower. So, um, there's two other changes I want to address that I think this move should have, and then that's it. Just two more changes to it, and they're all little changes like that. None of them are like, 
like make this move cost two bars of defensive meter or make this move take three slots so you can't have any other special even though that's basically what it does now since his air throw is useless but um the next change i want to say is a slightly more recovery now this change and the last change i want to do are probably optional like not both but it should uh, cost it should defensive bar should come back slower and then it should have slightly more recovery so as it stands right now I can jab that quick. I can down one that quick. So that's like about the fastest I can hit a button. I think it should be a little bit more recovery. So if you do teleport cancel, you teleport cancel and immediately down one, you wouldn't hit me before I down one you. Like if you teleport cancel and I immediately down one, I should hit you. It should never be a case if you teleport cancel down one and I get hit. You should get the, the free up close pressure, but you shouldn't get the button. You sh it shouldn't be your turn as well is what I'm trying to say. I don't know why I'm so bad with words, with words right now, but yeah. Once you do this cancel and say I haven't done anything and neutral, I'm just standing there, it should not be your turn. I do not believe it should be your turn at all. Now, if you catch me pressing a button and you cancel, then yes, it's your turn. Because you made a read, you saw me do something, you made the read cancel, you can throw me... You know, do whatever it is you're going to do because you caught me like I totally agree with that. But, say, I'm just standing there chilling like Noob Saibot is, and you're doing all this nonsense, whatever, and then you cancel. If I press any button you, and you're not blocking, you should get hit 100%. And it shouldn't be like some Raiden teleport stuff or Collector teleport where it's super close to, like, no. If you teleport, there should be some recovery where you can get punished. I That's just how I feel. You should have to do this move on a read. Like, you shouldn't be able to just teleport, cancel. Whoa, whoa. You should be able to just teleport, cancel, teleport, cancel, and then, you know, do whatever you want. Because it's kind of a do whatever I want button at the cost of basically half a defensive bar because of how fast it comes back. Like, it's pretty nuts. So I just feel like it should have slightly more recovery. Like, mm, I'm not good at reading recovery frames, but as it stands right now, grounded, help, or cancel. 22 recovery frames, air cancel is 31. But like, you know, like that's still not bad. <laughs> like in air teleport brings you closer. Like if you cancel. And this is still fast. So maybe add like 10 more recovery frames or something. I, I don't know if that's a good number, but I'm just, it, you should just have to wait a little longer before you can press anything because the way it is now he can teleport and grab you teleport and, you know or jab you or whatever and even if he teleports and you make the read and you down one he can move back and whiff punish you for it like he shouldn't be able to teleport cancel and whiff punish you like and still back up before you can poke him like no that's silly like no if he does if he teleport cancels you should be able to down one and if he blocks it now it's his turn so like he teleported cancel he didn't make a read so it's your turn you poke because it's your fastest move he blocks it now it's his turn that to me is fair that would be a fair way to have this move not just no matter when i teleport you know be wary of me because if you press anything you might die like there should be nothing in a game like this that's like slow paced you know not just blow you up really fast kind of play neutral type game even though the this game is fake about neutral, it's not really neutral based because all the best characters in the game say fuck your neutral. But in a game that's for the most part like this, you should not be able to just do this and impose your will, you know, at the cost of basically half the defensive bar because look how fast I got it back. It's just it's ridiculous. So um, the last change I want to say is in it doesn't need to be this change and the one I just talked about. Um, so the last change to teleport cancel, I would say make it push you back a little further. So when you teleport cancel now, it leaves you right here. Grounded teleport cancel leaves you right here. Like in jab range. Right there. So what I propose is it leaves you about here. Not in jab range, not in throw range. So like, like about right here. Not in jab range, not in throw range. Still in back one range. Still in 4 or 3 range. You know, still in down down 4 range. You're still in range for all that stuff. But I don't believe you should be able to teleport cancel and then 
immediately throw. I think there should be some gap right there. So you don't have to worry about the immediately cancel into throw. Because if you're thinking about or doing anything and he just so happens to cancel throw, guess what? You just got throw. Because when he cancels or when he teleports, your reaction is the block initially. And then you do that, you get grabbed. So I just think it should push you back a little further. And you can make the argument. <clears throat> You can definitely make the argument that if it's going to push you back further, or push him back further away from you, to where he can't hit you straight up, that uh, besides from like stuff like this, that it shouldn't uh, have more recovery. I'm open to that argument. That I can see that being a possibility. But I, th I think uh, the defensive bar going up slower after he does this, and either having more recovery on landing or being further back would like help this a lot. Will help everybody deal with this a lot. And it's kind of, the way it stands right now is pretty ridiculous. And I think those are two reasonable changes that'll destroy the move. Because none of them just make it completely unsafe. Like, if you do this, you get punished for it. Like, upon landing, you get full combo punished. It's not like that. Like, if I teleport cancel and block, and he does it down one, I shouldn't get hit. I spent the bar. I should be safe. But it shouldn't be my, I shouldn't be, it shouldn't be my turn. Like, you know, it's kind of like uh, characters like Raiden and Scarlet where they spend a bar to do their teleport and they're further away from you so they're safe. I want it to be like that. So he cancels teleport, so he's safe. You can't punish him for that teleport unless you catch him before he gets to the other side. Or you make a ridiculous read on it and as he's coming in the screen you hit him. I don't know what moves can do that, but maybe the Baraka backspikes, but... If you make a godlike read, for sure. But other than that, I don't think you should be punished like that. You just shouldn't be able to just, no matter where you are on screen, oh, I'm teleporting, and it's my turn. And you need to block or else, or you need to either <laughs> move a neutral duck, or you're getting thrown, or a block, or you're getting hit. Like, I don't believe in that. I think that's ridiculous and shouldn't exist in this game. So, that's all for his teleport cancel. That's how I would change that move. As far as his regular standard teleport that I would change potentially in different ways obviously because it's an attack so the the kind of thing this move is had in not all other games but in some other ones like Injustice is this move is a high when he was in Injustice 1 and then Supergirl's teleport in Injustice 2 which is a reversing teleport it's, it's a high now if you hit them with it enhance it yeah you still get the same exact reward but you can't just throw it out willy nilly. Like, I don't have to walk around afraid of you the entire game because, you know, it's a mid. Like, it's gonna hit. Like, no, if I'm fighting a scorpion, I should be able to duck, walk, duck, walk, and dodge. Like, not worry about teleport or spear because I'm ducking and I'm going in. But where the game stands now, you gotta, like, block, wait, block, and then when you do that, you get thrown. Or you get throw you know like then it opens up all that and his walk speed is ridiculous but i want to make this video just about his teleport but that's something else that should be addressed because this is ridiculous every character doesn't move that fast <laughs> but yeah so i think making that a high is one way to solve that and that's an obvious answer that a lot of people have said but if it was a high you know you could just duck it and it would have something in common with noob's teleport because his is a high it's got 30 frames of startup, it's a high, and it's death on block. Scorpion's got 23 frames of startup, it's a mid, and if I enhance it, it's minus 14. Which, kinda, <laughs> I think is kinda ridiculous, and that kinda just brings me to like another possible point is that it should just be a little more unsafe on block. And I'm, that's not for me, I don't mind, I, I can punish both virgins fine, but for the people on who aren't competitively playing this game or don't understand and just get hit by it over and over. Like this move, if noob sidebot teleport is death on block and a high, why is this enhanced only minus 14? And by death on block, I mean noob teleport is minus 29. And the scorpion's regular is minus 20. So, you know, just for some some reference there minus 20 enhanced minus 14 but <clears throat> that's not even the real second point i wanted to add that's just a possibility for it like like i just think that could end up being um 
that could end up being a good point. If you're not gonna make it a high, at least make it more negative on block. Make it like you, you if you do this move on a read and you get the punish, great for you. But if you do it in this block, you should die whether you enhance it or not. Because it's that strong. Even if this move was, you know, minus 35 on block, the most unsafe move in the game or whatever. I, it would still be good because of the nature of the move and the nature of the game. So yeah, you should die for whiffing. It's like Noob dies for whiffing his. So one other potential change and the last one I want to talk about for his regular teleport would be making his air teleport a completely separate move. So like Noob Cybot, for example, while I'm here is in the air, you can see my air, my inputs down up. I can't do it. Down up, down up, down up. He won't do it until he gets to the ground because he can't do teleport in the air. That's a completely separate move that you have to equip. Like he has to have air teleport in order to do this in the air. And his has more startup and it's more unsafe on block. Granted, his leads some more damage, but he's just a high damage character in general. But he doesn't have the option. Like in the air, he has to do this as a teleport, which he either has to whiff or meter burn and it's minus nine on block. So it's not safe. And this is a teleport you can see coming. It tracks towards you from right a downward angle. So it isn't just that, like, it doesn't come behind you or anything like that. Like this does. So I think having Scorpion's teleport in the air be a separate move and possibly not in, uh, not in the Reborn variation would help a lot. Or not in a Searing Rage variation even, even. Like, it would be a whole separate move because it wouldn't fit in that in that those tool sets so he wouldn't be able to fake a jump in oh i'm teleporting or get free jump ins and get free jump in pressure like he gets now so like that's something where you literally don't have to change the character at all all you have to do is separate that special move and it's a huge nerf to the character well not a huge nerf but it's like it's a huge nerf to some of the ridiculous like things he can do. It adds some counterplay to him. He can't just jump for free anymore. Because when he's in the air, he can be hit. So like some scorpions just jump and then whenever they teleport. It eliminates that completely because if you have a fireball, you can shoot it while he's in the air and he can't teleport. And if he's jumping at you, you can anti air because he can't teleport last minute. Like this wouldn't exist if you got 28% for trying to anti-air, which you're supposed to do to a jump. Like, it wouldn't just kill neutral like it does now. Scorpion players would at least have to play grounded, and the respectable ones do for the most part. But we're all playing online a lot, and there really isn't a lot of, there's a lot of just random jumping and doing, like, you shouldn't be able to win just doing this against somebody who knows exactly what they're doing. Like, it's almost like in Justice 1 Scorpion when they were blindfolded, just teleporting all over the place and like winning doing well like that shouldn't exist in the game so those are a couple of changes i would make to this teleport just to make this move fair and i don't think any of these would kill the character none of them he would still be a solid character as you can see i didn't change this forward three i didn't say anything about his mix-ups i didn't say anything about his damage and i know searing raids is the damage variation but i didn't say anything about that the fact that he has a command overhead a low a stream that goes in a low in overhead i know his lows are sweet but still the fact that he still has this which is an amazing stagger like i didn't talk about any of that this is a great ender for damage like it's literally just changing his broken mood and I think if this move gets toned the hell down, Scorpion won't be seen as such a broken character. It's really just this one move. He's got other things, like his 4-3 staggers are pretty dumb too, but that alone doesn't break the character. Because once the crusher blows off the table for that, it's not that scary. So yeah, anyway. Um, if you got any ideas, tips, points, let me know. Um, I'm not really playing this as seriously anymore. Like, I'm probably not going to talk about Frost as much. I want to do a tier list because I feel like I could make possibly the best tier list because I'm not blinded by tournaments. I'm making my based on reality. But, um, I don't know how to use that tier list maker thing. I, I'm recording my PS4 directly, so whatever. Maybe one day. Anyway, uh, have fun.